Hi guys, this is Kenin and today we are going to see about how to configure virtual switch manager in Hyper-V server. So what is mean by virtual switch manager? So virtual switch manager can create about three networks that is a three switch which you can use in your Hyper-V server. And those three are external, internal, and private. So, what is meant by external? You can create an external network so that the virtual machine will bind it to the physical network adapter, so that you can access the physical network directly from the virtual machine which you have installed. So, what is meant by internal? So, an internal network is used to connect the physical machine from the virtual machine, so that can access the network which was connected to the physical host that is the physical machine so you can say in another way as a NAT network configuration so this internal network is used for a NAT configuration it can access your physical network without connecting to your physical adapter so what do you what is meant by private network? Private network was used to connect all the virtual machines and it will not connect the physical machine. So you can create a private network inside all the virtual machine that will not connect to a physical niche machine or the physical network which you have in your corporate or in your home network. So right now what I'm going to create here is internal network that is a NAT configuration so NAT is used for more network configuration nowadays so I'm going to configure it now so let's see how to configure NAT conf network in your Hyper-V server so here I have a virtual machine running state I'm going to go to the virtual switch manager and here you can see the three options external internal and the private so I'm going to create an external network here here I'm going to give it as NAT so it is an internal network I'm going to select it as an internal network here so here you can see if you select the in external network it will ask you to configure the physical network adapter which you are connected with so I will explain in detail later so I'm going to select the internal network here so and leave it as it is here and just select apply select OK and now you can go and see a uh, NAT network has been created here. So after creating the NAT network, you can go to your network and sharing center. Here you can see a special adapter has been installed with the name of the network which you have created here. And the network adapter which was installed was a Hyper-V virtual Ethernet adapter. So after creating the network, you can see this uh, special adapter here. So I am going to Go to the status here you can see the details of the network which are connected and you can see some other series was given here so let's configure it and I'm going to give the IP address as yeah just validate the settings give ok and now I'm going to connect to the virtual machine so it was a little bit slow <coughs> So 
I think it was doing the first time configuration since I am connecting this uh, virtual machine after a long time. So it was opening the desktop. So in between, we can just check the ping status. One. So it is pinging successfully. And here, what I'm going to do is. I have not added the network here so I am going to add the network so I am going to add NAT And the desktop has been opened successfully. So I am going to the network. Here I am going to the network settings. And here you can see it was switched off. I am going to switch on. And I have I have actually assigned the IP address for this CentOS before. So I will also show you how to configure the IP address here. Go to the IP before settings here. I will configure as I 3.3 and the gateway is the IP which I have given here for the so this is the gateway which I should give. So so this is the gateway which I should give 3.1 here. So gateway this is the gateway given netmask was given and the address was given here. So give some DNS select apply ok now I can ping this server so it was actually not pinging so let's wait I just need to check the firewall here so I'll just switch off the firewall Now I will check it. It is not actually pinging. So let's check some other thing like The IP was not config reconfigured yet, so I will just ping the same IP which I have configured previously. So it was pinging. So I will just try to connect the remote desktop which I have already configured to the IP 3.2. I think it was not yet started so yeah 
it is gone started successfully you see I have got the remote desktop of the IP 3.2 so this is how you will configure the external net that is the internal network so if you try to configure the external network you can just simply go to the virtual switch manager and here just select the external network and create switch here I will give it as external network here it will ask for the external network to be connected so I'll just give it as serial tech gigabit ELT gigabit family control so select this and leave it as a default option for this allow management operating system to share the network adapter and select apply so it will ask for the changes to be takes place because you have added a separate network to your external network so select it as a S and yeah and it was done actually so you can just simply go to the settings and here you can select this network here as an external network which you have configured right now select apply select ok and now you can check it was not connecting actually so because I have changed the network actually so it, the remote desktop will not work here so if I try to configure the network here so you can see here there is no IP address configured for this network so you can just give it as automatic so it will apply automatic IP address from your external network right now I am not I have not connected my external network here so you can't see anything here because you can see I have not configured my external network here so it will actually create a bridge network here after you have connected to your external network and the next network here is private network you can just simply select the private network create a virtual switch select it as private and select apply select ok and you can just go to the settings here you can remove the existing network or you can just simply select the private network select apply select ok uh, actually it will not create any network adapter here so it will simply connect your in internal virtual machines you can just simply switch it on or you can also configure a separate IP address here I'm going to manually configure it as true select apply Yeah, actually no other network has been created so it was not yet configured so this is how you will get create the virtual private network it will actually simply connects only to the virtual machine you have created in using your virtual server so I think you now know how to create a external internal and the private network so using this tutorial you can configure each and every network you can check uh, what this particular network will do most probably the NAT network that is the internet network will be used by you in most of the occasions so if you have any doubts you can just comment on and I will give you in detail about the networks and thanks for watching the video